Get his church of the Big Ben. Amen. A church you can call home. Amen. Where we honor God. We love families. We serve others. And we pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. We also want to welcome all our NBC family. All our visitors. And all of you that are joining us by audio and video. Amen. All we ask you to do is be prepared to receive. God has something for you. Amen. Don't let him go. Amen. Hallelujah. That's for me. Amen. This is for me. Don't say, well, you know, if so, so could would have been here. This is great for them. No, you get it, you know, mm -hmm. because you are God. You are the church. You are going somewhere to bless somebody. Amen. So praise God. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct you. Today we're going to be talking about this. Can he, can Jesus count on me? <laughs> we, can, we can count on him. You know, there's no problem there. The problem's not there. The problem is here. <laughs> can he count on us? Amen. Well, not today because, you know, we're full of uh, excuses. <laughs> Instead of full of excuses, we need to be full of the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. Keep yourself full. Keep yourself tanked up. Full. Amen. To overflowing. So when he said, when he calls, you're ready. Amen. We got to be battle ready, you know, because we fight a spiritual battle each and every day. And the only way to overcome that spiritual battle is the Word of God. And you got to be filled. Amen. <laughs> Thank God we drove our vehicles here because yeah. they were full of gas. <laughs> and we got to keep them full. If they're not full, they're no good. they just expensive a toy sitting there, you know, doing nothing, going nowhere. Well, we're valuable, but we got to stay full of the Word. We got to stay full of Him so we can go out and do what God wants us to do. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm excited. So you get excited. Amen. I hope it rubs <laughs> off on you. <laughs> Amen. So. Let's grab our sword, soldier, God, and let's uh, make this uh, declaration yes. together. Amen. Amen. Praise God. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Man, you got to get that in you. Woo, man, I'm excited. Did I say that? Yes. yes. <laughs> so you'll be excited. Amen. I got a couple of nuggets I want to read at you before we get into the word. Amen. Today we're going to be talking about can he count on you? Amen. Can Jesus count on you? Say yes. Yes. So stay battle ready because you know you find a spiritual battle each and every day. Not only that, the battlefield is the mind. Yes. Amen. And we got to keep our mind renewed with what? The word of God. So as a soldier of God, we got to feed our spirit the word of God. we got to renew our mind with the word of God. And we got to crucify this flesh. Because this flesh wants to say, hey, I worked all week. So weekends, I just take it easy. I'm comfy. You know, don't bother me. Cowboys are on. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting down being nice and comfy. Amen. Listen to this. We're going to be talking about, can he count on you? Well, he can count on you. But listen, cast all your cares on him. You have uh, neglected to cast all your cares on him. Cast them all on him because he cares for you. Cast them all on the one who gives you rest. Mm -hmm. Allow him to comfort you the way he longs to. Take a step of faith now and begin to unload all your burdens, all your weights, all your troubles on him. Exchange them for his yoke, his love, and his anointing. Yeah. Do it and accept, accept what he offers you. Give up all these things mm -hmm. he never gave you or intended you to have amen only you can pick up the things amen oh, is it well, I lost my place here it says exchange him for his yoke his love and his anointing do it and accept what he has offered you give up all those things he never gave you or intended you to carry. Only then can you pick up the things he has waiting for you. Amen. Woo, man, I'm ready. It says, cast all your cares on him because he cares for you. Psalms 55 and 22 says this. Cast your burdens on the Lord and he shall sustain you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I want the greater one. I got to give him everything that he has not given to me. This is not for me. I'm not receiving it. And you got to know and, and know what the word of God says so you don't have to receive it and say, hey, somebody passed me the ball so I got to run with it. No, that wasn't for you. That's not what the word of God says. So you know what? That was not for me. Just let it go. Amen. So cast it all on him because he cares for you. Amen. 
Here's another one. And the enemy uses this so well. It says, release the past. No matter what has happened in the past, God is a God of restoration. And he will restore what the enemy has stolen from you. Don't let the regrets of yesterday destroy the hopes of tomorrow. Accept God's mercy and forgiveness today. Mm -hmm. And if he says he'll forgive and forget, you do the same thing. Because the battlefield is the mind and it's going to be there all the time until you say, I take authority. I rebuke that. I release that. I command it to go in Jesus' name. Amen. Renew your mind with what the word of God says. He says, accept God's mercy and forgiveness today and look forward to a great plan he has for your future. He has great plans for you. And none of them include defeat. That's it. Amen. But the, the enemy, people are going to put these negative thoughts in there for you. He says, you're not good enough. You're not qualified. You can't do this. You can't do that. And you're going to hear this all the time yeah. until you start believing it. But that's not what the Word of God says. The Word of God says you can do all things through Christ. That's it. Amen. So get your word right. Get get your priorities right. And and stand on what the Word of God says. Amen. Not what people say. Not what the world says. Yes. Woo Man, I like this one. You're a mighty warrior. That's what that's what the title is. Mighty warrior. We are product. We are products of our past, but we don't have to be prisoners of it. Oh. Yeah. God purpose is not limited by our past god is not looking for perfect people he's looking for available people the bible heroes god used were not perfect he turned a murderer named moses into a leader a coward named gideon into a courageous hero and he whoo, can do amazing things through the rest of your life yeah he's not giving up on you the world gives up on you people give up on you but god is not giving up on you that's it he put a gift in you, and you know what? He didn't take it away from you. It's still there until you do something about it. Mm -hmm. The problem's not with him. The problem is with us. Oh, we yeah. got to get it right, yeah. and you know? And we got to receive it. Since God specializes in giving people fresh starts, yes. new beginnings, Thank amen? God, said, God is, listen, God has equipped you to win. He didn't put you here to lose. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed his son, and he put you here to win and fulfill whatever mission he's got for you. It says, this is the hour of the mighty warrior of God to wake up, get up, and press on with Jesus. Ain't that amazing? Yeah. Man, hallelujah. Praise God. You know, the world has got a hold of some of this, and it works for the world. Yes, it does. Amen. It works for them. Yeah. But we as believers, as children of God, we got to take his word and put it to work. Amen. We got to confess it. First, we got to get it in us, and then we have to release it and speak it out confess his word and then start doing it amen it says get up press, uh, excuse me uh wake up get up and press on mm -hmm. amen we that means we got to get the stepping and you know if you read where he talks about the armor of god all the armor of god is for the front <laughs> There's yeah. nothing in the back <laughs> so if you're going to turn around and go back <laughs> ain't nothing there to protect you everything is to press forward press on mm -hmm. press on Go forward, not backwards. Yes, yes. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. That blesses me. So let's be blessed. Amen. Yes. I'm going to just read you a couple of these. I've already read to the family uh, here. But it says, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Listen to it and then obey. Be obedient to what you're saying. This is the day the Lord has given me. Yes. I'm going to be glad and not sad. I'm going to rejoice. Amen. Amen. So, and, and, and rejoice in it. And today, I'm going to walk in love. Today, I'm going to have a great day. Today, I choose joy. Today, I choose a winning, positive attitude. Yeah. Today, I choose to walk in God's favor. I choose to walk in God's freedom. I choose to walk in God's peace. Mm -hmm. I choose to guard my tongue. Mm. May somebody cut you off. Mm. Somebody say something negative. Well, don't bring their storm into your life yes, bring their bring them into your your peace, your peace by what you release you know you got to watch your words and what you got to watch your actions because it's going to say a whole lot about you you know i see you at church all the time but when you leave church you talk different and you act different hmm. why is this no we got to live it amen it's a lifestyle 
we got to live it. You know, I'm going to guard my tongue. I, I, today, I will find good in people. Mm -hmm. Today, I will encourage someone. someone. You know, you had a chance. You had a chance to uh, encourage somebody and you passed it up. I mean, nobody ever tells me anything. Yeah. Well, maybe it's because you're not keeping yourself charged up. Mm -hmm. You got to charge your spiritual batteries yourself. Yeah. Stir yourself up. Yes. Amen. So that you can go and stir somebody else up and yes. encourage somebody, even if nobody says this. When you read the word, it's going to charge you up. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you're already charged up. Now I got I got to give some charge to somebody. Mm -hmm. I got to stir up somebody else, man. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So <laughs> let's be victorious in Him. Amen. Let's be winners in Him. So be thankful. Have a thankful heart. Amen. And be courageous. That's just a few. Amen. So praise God. It's a handout. The church. I gave the church. Amen. And they can take this. And you can pin this up where, where, where you dress up. Or in the kitchen or somewhere. You know. And so you can see them. <laughs> just don't do it. Don't read them while, while you're driving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Well, praise God. We're going to be talking about. Jesus and the storms of life mm -hmm. and you know what we have a son in Tampa and uh, he just went through a hurricane amen so the storms of life they're going to come mm -hmm. amen so let's see can God can he can God can Jesus count on you mm -hmm. amen Woo. giant storms of life or troubles will come but we need to let go and let God amen can he count on you to pull through and fulfill your mission? Mm -hmm. Not letting the extra weights of sin, cares, troubles, sickness, distractions, mm -hmm. and bad reports. Man, this is something that you, he, that, that you hear every day in a negative world. Mm -hmm. If you're not renewed, if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you know you're going to fall. And you're going to start doing and obeying and, and believing those things you hear. Stop, they stop you from fulfilling what God has called you to do. He has called you, anointed you, and equipped you to win. Hmm. Listen, you need to write this down. Okay. It says, whatever you do now will affect eternity. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? We are the body of Christ, and whatever you do now will affect eternity. You know that you shared with somebody, and they came to Christ. And it's going to affect eternity because they were heading to hell. Mm. And now they're going to mm. eternity. They're going to heaven. So what you do is going to impact, make an yes. impact. Amen. So he called, he's called us to be participators and not yes. just spectators. Spectators do nothing except <laughs> judge. You know, and say, that's not good enough. We got to be participators and be involved and be available. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is what we need to do. We can do this ourselves. Amen. Woo. Listen. Can he count on you, his children? Can he count on you, his church? Can he count on you, the body of Christ? Amazing. Hey? We, I don't know if anybody ever told you this, but we are the body of Christ. We are the church. Amen. This is just a building where we assemble ourselves together. <laughs> this is a church building. This is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Us. We are his temple amen Woo. hallelujah praise god so can he count on you his children his church his body of christ amen Woo. so see yourself the way he sees you and he sees you prepared he sees you excited he sees you available he sees you faithful committed and hungry for things of god i see oh man he wants to use me. We're going to be talking about Mark 4, uh, 35 through 41. And I'm going to read it to you from uh, from the New Living Translation here. Amen. So praise God. And we're talking about the storms of life. It says, 35 says, as evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, he says, let's cross over to the other side. He already spoke. He says, we're going to the other side, regardless of what pops up. Or what comes up. He's already said we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. Amen. So listen. That's why it's so important 
that you speak the word and set your priorities right because when the storms of life come says you know what this is the day the lord has made i'm going to rejoice and be glad in it regardless of what comes up i'm not going to be affected by what the world says i'm not going to be affected by the negative stuff i'm going to be affected by what the word of god says and i can do all things through christ who strengthens me he says he told his disciples let's cross to the other side of the lake some some uh, gospels called it lake some called it sea the sea of Galilee. 36 says so they took jesus in the boat and they started out leaving the crowds behind although other boats followed but soon a fierce storm came up high waves were breaking in the boat and it began to fill with water then jesus was sleeping in the back of the boat with his head on a pillow <clears throat> he was not concerned he spoke the word he said we're going to the other side whatever comes up we're going to the other side he's at peace he's got peace you need to prepare yourselves on a daily basis because the storms of life will come but you know what i have peace about it so when people come with their native stuff and try to come against you don't allow yourself to be pulled into their storms mm -hmm. you pull them into your peace peace, peace be still amen and uh jesus is leaving in the back the disciples woke him up shout, shouting <laughs> shouting <laughs> they were afraid <laughs> teacher don't you care we're going to drown 39 says and jesus woke up and he rebuked the winds and he said to the waves silence be still suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm mm. that's what you got to tell your storms mm. because the storms will come mm. i'm getting a little hit of myself but storms of life will come to the same and the unsaved that's it. troubles will come to the same and the unsaved mm. okay but we need to know what to do we got to get the word of god in us so we know how to respond amen. to the storms of life amen Woo, hallelujah praise god thank you then he said to them why are you afraid do you still have no faith <laughs> you know what after reading the word and studying the word and meditating on the word you're going to mature in the things of god mm -hmm. and your faith is going to grow oh. and you know what <laughs> as you study the word and get the word of god in you your your roots of faith are going to go deeper mm -hmm. and nothing in this world is going to move you so when the storms of life come the winds come mm. you you may sway but you're not moving why because my faith roots are mm. deep amen? amen my faith roots are deep in the word of god mm. and my they're deep in him mm -hmm. amen so i'm i'm gonna stand my ground mm -hmm. he said when you've done all the stand do what stand, stand. Yeah. amen Woo, hallelujah mm -hmm. so you still have no faith the disciples then the disciples were absolutely terrified who is this man they asked each other remember they've been living with him they've been serving him and they still don't know this man <laughs> says <clears throat> who is this man they asked each other even the wind and the waves obey him amen listen the enemy is not afraid of you amen He's afraid of how much of him is in you yes. and how much of the word is coming out of you. He says, submit yourself to God. Resist the devil. That means you take authority over the yes. devil yes. and he will flee. Yes. Why is he going to flee? Because you're confessing the word. Mm -hmm. Because you're speaking the word. And you're walking and talking like Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And when you are in full of him, you're going to step out in faith and not in fear. Each and every time. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. The great one is yeah. in me. <laughs> now, I'm going to go one further. And I'm going to read Mark 5, 1 in the next chapter. And it says this. Jesus heals a demon-possessed man. That's a, a, a sermon for another time. Mm -hmm. But still, when they got to the other side, guess yeah. what? <laughs> it, they got to the other side. Yeah, they got there. So, they arrived on the other side of the lake in the region of the Gadarenes. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? This man come running to him. <laughs> He's been living out there in, in, in the graves. You know? It, and nobody can come and nobody can contain this guy. Mm -hmm. Nobody can, can do anything with this guy. He is demon possessed. Yes, he is. But when he, he come running to Jesus. Mm -hmm. 
Why? Because he knew Jesus could deliver him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. And some of you watching, some of you listening, you know, it's time to come home. It's time to come back to him. Mm -hmm. The text tells us what to do when storms come. Jesus yes. says, we are going to the other side. Amen. And then he spoke to the wind and he spoke to the waves. Yes. Be still. Amen. To be still. When they start on their trip, it was nice. And you know what? We start each day nice, nice and comfy. <laughs> but next thing you know is all hell breaks loose. Oh my. So what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. We're just going to let the word of God rise up in us. We That's what, that's what we need to do. Mm -hmm. And it's going to happen each and every day. Yeah. So we got to be prepared. We got to be battle ready because yes. you're going to fight a spiritual battle each and every day yes. and if you're not full of the word the word is the only thing that can help you That's it. and if you're not full of the word you're going to fail mm -hmm. amen you're going to fall daily when we start our day nice and calm sometimes before you even step out oh, already storms have oh, begun man. man the storms are brewing even before my coffee is brewing <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't want no troubles until I have my first cup. <laughs> I say, oh, no, no. So we got to set our priority right daily when you get up. Amen. Keep going. Go to the next one. Here we go. I like this. I like this. Listen, I gave you 633. Set our priorities right. It says, but seek first what? The kingdom of God is righteousness. Mm -hmm. And all these things will be given to you as well. But then it says, 34 says, therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Some of us are worried about tomorrow oh, and no. the next week and the next year. Uh -huh. And years <laughs> pass, you know. But it says, don't worry about tomorrow. Worry about for it. tomorrow will have, will, will worry about itself. Each yes. day has enough trouble of its, of its own. Amen. So you know what? I'm trusting God. He wants me to go out and do today. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to be worried about tomorrow. You know why? Because the same God that's with you today yes. is going to be Woo. with you tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. You, and the next day and the next day. But you know, you serve each and every day. Uh -huh. This is the day this He's given day. you. So let's concentrate on this day. Yes. You know, but the world, <laughs> people, they're going to bring you and tell you about mm -hmm. their problems and tomorrow and the next day and the next week. Mm. I say, wait a minute. <laughs> you need Jesus. You need, you need Jesus. Some of you watching, some of you mm -hmm. listening, it's time to stop running. Mm -hmm. Stop running and come to Him. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. hallelujah. So, hallelujah. Uh, <clears throat> troubles come to all people, saved and unsaved. Mm -hmm. Just because you're saved don't mean troubles ain't going to come. Right. <laughs> you just know what to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Mm -hmm. Troubles of what? Family, health, finances, mm -hmm. addictions, marital problems. We've all been through some of these. We cannot camp out. Amen. We can't camp out on these things. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, cast it on him. Mm -hmm. And press on. press on. Amen. And the next one says this. I've got it in the New King James and I got it in the Amplified. Mm -hmm. And it says, 1 Peter 5, 7 and 8 says, casting all you care upon him. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he cares for you. He, cares for he says, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking who he may devour how does he know who to devour because your words and your actions yeah. are going before you and they're opening the door for the enemy to walk in well how did he come in mm. think mm -hmm. what you said yes. and what you did <laughs> it opened the door for the enemy yes. to come in he will goes as a roaring lion seeking who he may devour mm -hmm. He ain't going to devour you if you know, if you're speaking the right things and doing right. the right things. Right. Amen. So, and uh, Psalms 55 and, and 22, I, I, it's got in the Amplified, it says, Cast all your burdens yes. on the Lord, release it, and he will, you, <laughs> you have to give it. He says to give or cast, that means you got to give it. You can't hold on to it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why you got dumpsters out there. So you can take all your oh, trash all from the house trash. out there. Empty your oh, trash no. cans. You don't want your house stinking. Mm. <laughs> you take it out to the dumpster, but yeah. you got to leave it there. Leave it there. You so right. we got to get all this sin confessed and get it out. He says, yeah. I'll forgive and forget. But you got to get do one thing. You got to give it. You got to cast it on him mm -hmm. and he'll take it and he'll forget about it. 
-hmm. and forgive. He'll forgive and forget about it. And you got to do the same thing. Yes. Because the world, the enemy, is going to bring it back over uh -huh. and over and over until you say stop. Yes. I stop that in Jesus' name. I'm taking authority. Mm -hmm. I release that. It's not mine. It's not. It's, you're dealing with the wrong person. Yes. Thank you. But he says, cast your burden on the Lord. Why? He says, release it. Mm -hmm. And he will sustain and uphold you. Mm -hmm. He will never allow the righteous believers, his children, mm -hmm. to be shaken, slip, fall, or fail. That's it. Amen. And you know what the enemy's going to try to do? He's going to try to isolate you. Oh, yeah. And you're a special case. You know, God don't care about you. Hmm. He cares about everybody else but you. Hmm. <laughs> Amen. Well, I'm going to tell him I'm God's favorite child. So I know I'm one of, one of his. So you're talking to the wrong person. You better go somewhere else. Hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> In fact, that we are saved doesn't mean trouble will never come That's our way. Right. No, it's going to come. So but you're going to straighten it out quick. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. When trouble comes, the storms come, realize your source, Jesus. Yes. Jesus, his word, his name, his blood, his authority. Submit yourself to God. Resist. Yes. Resist there means take authority. Yeah. You take authority. You know, well, Jesus, can you take this from me? No. Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, oh. we want him. He's already, God already sent his son. Jesus yeah. did his part. We got to do our part. Amen. What do we do? Get full of the word and confess the word. Amen. And you take authority and you got to remind that devil, you're a defeated foe. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you. Uh -huh. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. So I resist you. Amen. Take authority over you and I command you to go in Jesus' name. Man, he's going to just put his tail between his leg and run mm -hmm. like a scared dog, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> remind him he's a defeated foe. Yeah. And let him you can tell him, go to him. <laughs> <laughs> or go back home. You know? Oh, gosh. <laughs> when trouble comes, realize Jesus, his word, his name, his blood, his authority, and not the world, not friends, not drugs, not alcohol, is for you. No, troubles always mm. gets our attention. We magnify the trouble or the problem more than we magnify our God. Just think. Before you say anything, when you things happen what comes out of you you know oh we're magnifying man that was a great storm yeah it's a great storm but you know what our god is bigger amen so we're going to magnify our god more than we magnify the problem we always want to depend on self uh, skills abilities we want to depend on family friends finances drugs and alcohol mm. Mm. yeah you know what if he was drunk, you wouldn't have to put up with this. Hmm. Oh yeah, you will. You know, because when you come off your high, yes. when you come off the, the, the your drunkenness, right, yeah. <laughs> it's still gonna be, gonna be there, and you're gonna have to redo it again. Mm. Amen. He don't want you to be a loser. He wants you to be a winner. Yes. Amen. And say, wait a minute, I've got authority over this. I'm taking authority. When everything is going nice and smooth, we forget about him. Like the prodigal son. The prodigal son says, hey, dad, I got an inheritance coming. So I, I'm, I'm ready for it. Give it to me. And he blasts off. You know, a lot of you are watching. A lot of you listening have been through this. And you got to stop running now. I don't know why that keeps coming. So stop running and accept him as your Lord and Savior. All you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. That's all you have to do. And he'll take it from there. And he'll forgive and forget. But it's time for you to get cleaned up. You know, he, the prodigal son, was in the pig pen. Mm -hmm. And immediately when his father saw him coming, you know, he called for his servants, you know, and said, hey. Mm -hmm. Well, he didn't say this. He said, he, need, he needs a bath. He, he needs a robe. <laughs> he needs sandals. Put a ring on his finger, you know. <laughs> and kill the fatty calf, you know. So immediately we need to get cleaned up. How do we get cleaned up? Confess your sins. Mm. Confess to him and receive mercy, Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. <laughs> we use them like a spare tire. We oh, only remember man. if we have a flat. Mm. Any other time, we, we don't even think about him mm -hmm. until it's time for him to, or, or he says, you use him like a like a spare tire or a shovel. Mm. Shovel, yeah. You know, he's always digging us out of troubles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and we always call on him as needed mm -hmm. only in this case uh, uh, only in, 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 in emergencies mm -hmm. <laughs> says dig me out this one time mm -hmm. and I promise I'll change <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I've been there many times so I'm not going to talk about you I'm talking about me <laughs> been there many times amen we got to live no, live, live for him amen watch our words watch watch our actions amen yeah. so let's remember this Woo, hallelujah how many times have we said that i promise <laughs> i'll change oh boy but you know what when you have relationship and you start living for him mm -hmm. it's going to be a lot easier yeah but we got to stay filled because yes. the world will try to the world will empty you oh, yeah. and if you're not having a relationship you'll empty quick mm -hmm. amen we are powerless without him we're no match to the devil we're no match to the daily storms of life mm -hmm. and remember save or unsaved they're going to come mm -hmm. part-time believers no match to the full-time devil yes, yes. he wants to take you out the bible says john 10 10 he comes to steal kill, kill and destroy you and that's all he wants from you amen mm -hmm. you might be in sin and maybe have a little good time, but guess what? The consequence, I mean, the end is going to be lost yes. for eternity. Amen. It's not good enough. Realize God is your source of power. Stay connected to the power. Stay filled with the power. Stay yes. hungry. Amen. Stay thirsty for yes. Him more and more. Stay filled. Amen. When you're filled, you know what? You can't put anymore. No, it's, yes. You're filled to overflow it. So we can't get the world. If you're full of God, you know, the world can't come in. Why? Because I'm full of God. Yes. And I'm not allowing the world to come in. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're going to try. Oh, yeah. He's going to try. Have an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. Have a dependency on him. Lord, I need more of you. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Wow. Hopefully the storms will drive us to God and not away from him. Yes. Amen. You know, if you get your eyes off of him, distractions are going to come daily mm -hmm. but you got to stay focused man you got to keep that gps mm -hmm. focus on him oh, yes. always 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 yes. unload excess baggage extra weights on him get rid of it the devil his friends and all distractions coming your way mm -hmm. if it's not there to bless you magnify you it's going to destroy you mm -hmm. amen it's there to distract mm -hmm. you submit yourself to god cast it on him we already saw uh, the Bible. Thank you. The Bible says we can do all things through yes. Him. Yes, yes. that's where it is. Amen. It's not about me. It's about Him in me mm -hmm. and me releasing Him. Amen. So I can do all things through Him. Mm -hmm. Don't limit yourself. We do that a lot. We we limit ourselves. Don't limit yourself anymore. Mm -hmm. Know that greater is He that's in me. That I can do all things through Him that's in me amen. and the word is in me so what am i going to speak i'm going to speak what the word of god says yeah. amen just because you pops in your head don't mean you got to speak it out mm, okay, amen <laughs> you think about before you release it i have to say it no you didn't have to mm. say it but you said it you know jesus could have said a whole lot of things but you know what he was magnifying the father yeah he was blessing the father and you know what he didn't let no negative thing come out of him that's it, that's it. amen so we can do the same thing. He's our greatest example. Yes, he is. So we need to follow his example. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Yes. <laughs> now the cowboy's lost again. Oh. <laughs> Let's learn to re rely on him. Rely is to depend on. Yes. Depend on him. Amen. Have faith in him. Mm -hmm. Trust him. Mm -hmm. Rely on him. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Guard your words again. We can't say it enough. Guard your words. Speak faithful words. Mm -hmm. Amen. Sounds hard. No excuse. That's it. Just no do excuse. it. That's it. Amen. That's it. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pro uh, Proverbs 18, 21. Mm -hmm. Death and life yes. are in the power oh, of the tongue. Oh. Your tongue has power mm. in the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So let's be mature Christians. And not just release anything because I had to say it. So we gotta put the spirit above the flesh. Feed yes. your spirit, the word of God. Oh, yeah. Renew your mind with the word of God. Your yes. mind is your mind, your will. 
your will and your emotions. Yes. That's your soul. Mm -hmm. We got to feed our spirit the word of God. Renew our minds with the word of God. And crucify the flesh. Because <laughs> the flesh wants to be lazy and comfy. Oh. <laughs> says death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof Proverbs 18 21 go to the next one I like this one it says oh, words God. kill words give life they are either poison or fruit oh man and you choose mm -hmm. <laughs> that's very simple down to the point <laughs> words give life they're either, uh, excuse me, words kill, words give life. They are either poison or fruit. Mm -hmm. you, choose. You, you, choose. Choose. you choose. Nobody can choose for you. You choose yourself. Yeah. But you know, it says words kill. It starts with kill. Mm. Proverbs 18, 21, we just saw a few minutes ago. It says death, because it's first. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Words kill, words give life. They are either poison or fruit. But you choose. So, you know, be careful what you release. Mm. Amen. Because it's going to come out of you. Mm -hmm. And if it came out of you, let's, let's say the right things. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Faithful things and not wrong things. <laughs> and uh, go back to the one you had a few minutes ago. Mr. Wick, uh, about uh, Philippians 4.13. Again, it says that you can do all things. I It says, I can. I can. You can put your name there. Okay, put your name there, just scratch the I, and, and, and you can write in your Bible. Pers personalize it. I, I scratch the I off of there and just put Jose. Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens it. So every time I confess it, it's Jose. It's for me. Amen. So you personalize it and you make it sound and say what you want it to say. I can do, Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Regardless of what people say, or what people think <laughs> you're not good enough you're not this you're not that yeah but the word of god says so mm -hmm. so you know what praise god i'm going to stand on what the word of god says mm -hmm. <laughs> so life and uh keep keep going it says most of the words spoken today are negative words oh gosh it brings death it brings storms it brings troubles it brings problems because of what they say mm -hmm. words they speak mm -hmm. amen whichever one you want to say Thank you. It says we listen. Most of us watch TV. Most of us use ourselves. Most of us go on the internet. Most of us go Facebook, wherever it says. We are bombarded daily by negative media. No gosh. Okay? We're bombarded mm -hmm. daily by negative media. Man, that's how they make a living. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. TV internet cell phones newspapers radios people's friends co-workers yeah and we hear it all the time all the time so we gotta it's so important that we renew our minds mm -hmm. all the time yeah. not just once in a while yeah. but renew your mind as often as needed mm -hmm. we're tribeans again we're a spirit we have a soul and we live in a body, in body. so we feed our spirit man the word of god mm -hmm. our souls our mind our real emotions we renew with the word of God mm -hmm. as often as needed because you hear you're in this negative world all the time mm -hmm. and you hear it all the time you see it all the time you're around it all the time mm -hmm. and you know what you hear me say this all the time you're the closest thing to a Bible you're the closest thing to Jesus mm -hmm. people be around mm -hmm. so let the word of God come out of you yes. amen you, <laughs> that's your pulpit mm -hmm. wherever you happen to be Yes. Wherever you happen to be visiting, wherever you happen to be vacationing, wherever you happen to be shopping, mm -hmm. wherever you work, mm -hmm. that's your area of ministry right there. Mm -hmm. So stay full of the word because that overflow is going to affect them. Mm -hmm. Instead of them affecting you, you affect yeah. them. Yeah. You know, they see something different about you. They go, you know, they want to know what well, is it about you? Know. What is it about you? <laughs> huh? Good, it's, the, it's the word of God. <laughs> Romans oh, 12 and 2. Uh, mm -hmm. up here it says well the NIV this one says here be not conformed to this world yes. but ye be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may be that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God and you see the little cocoon huh? mm -hmm. you know what happens 
It's going to be transformed into a beautiful butterfly. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we can be transformed into what God wants us yes, to be. Yes, we can. Regardless of what the world says, because the world says, you look the same. Hmm. But I had a spiritual birth Perfect. on the yeah. inside. Yeah. You cannot see in the spirit <laughs> unless God lets you. Mm -hmm. But I had a, a reborn. I, I'm reborn in the spirit. Uh, the NIV says this. Do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind mm -hmm. that you will be able to uh, test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Yeah. Go to the next one. There we go. This translation says, don't copy the behaviors and customs of this world. No, oh, boy. If you're not in the things of God, you're going to do this. Mm -hmm. It says, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Yes. And the battlefield is the mind. Mm -hmm. The way you think. Uh, then you will learn to uh, know God's will for you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Which is good and pleasing and perfect. And perfect. Romans 12 and 2. Ooh, yeah. The power of faithful words will completely change your ways. Will change your attitudes. The way you behave. Amen. Amen. Ooh, man. They will change your life and your future. I'm a new creature in Christ. The Bible says 2 Corinthians 5.17. I'm a new creature in Christ. The old is gone. The new is in. And I'm going to start living the new way. You know what? All them old friends are going to fall off. God's going to bring new friends around. Amen. So praise God. You know what? Hey, we're not going to hang out with you no more because you're acting different. You act different. Mm -hmm. You're saying you don't speak the way you used to speak. You don't do what you used to do. Mm -hmm. You're you you you're different. That's right. Mm -hmm. I'm a new creature in Christ. New creature. The old stuff is gone. The new is in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start walking for Him. Yeah. And we need to do the same thing. You watching and you listening. Let's let's make a change now. You can make a change. You have a choice. Are you going to live and carry on the same way you've been doing all your life and losing, or mm -hmm. are you going to change mm -hmm. like the prodigal son mm -hmm. and say, you know what? I can do better in Father's mm -hmm. house. He called you. On a mission, he called you and he, he equipped you, he anointed you and equipped you to fulfill. And he's got a mission for you. But yes. you need to make the change. You need yes. to make that choice to say, yes, yes. I got to stop living for the real and I got to start living for God. Amen. So, you know, we're not going to finish this. We're going to be closing. So, anyway, uh, words are like seeds. So, going before us, planning your future of life or death you make the choice when storms and troubles come your way again speak faith filled words amen Woo. listen to this people react to storms or troubles in different ways some people grumble some people gripe some people groan some people grieve some people growl but as a child of god some of us grow yeah. we mature in the things of God, okay? So, we mature in His Word and in, in His ways. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we got to let His Word mm -hmm. change us to be what He's called us to be yeah. and not be limited by yeah, the yeah. ways of the world anymore. Amen. Amen? And what people say. Amen? Because He says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. Troubles will never leave a person the same way. Mm -hmm. It will either leave you bit bitter mm -hmm. or better. Bitter or better. <laughs> Hopefully, as believers, it will leave you better. Amen. Did you did you receive? Yes. Did, yes. did you learn something? Glory. If you didn't, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I learn something all the time. Amen. So praise God. So anyway, you that are watching, you that are listening, it's time to stop running and come to Him. Amen. And all you need to do is just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's going to forgive and forget. And you need to do the same thing. But you got to get into a Bible-based church where you can study the Word, come together and assemble yourself with believers and be encouraged and be empowered to go and do what God wants you to do. Yes. And know that you can do all things through all Christ. Things. So stop living a losing battle, you know, win the world. And start living for Him. And you, Because He's called you to be a champion, a winner, and an overcomer. 
Amen. Amen. So praise God. If you have sickness in your body, God put it on Jesus at the cross. And Jesus took the stripes. He said, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Yeah. So any sickness is attacking your body, you know, we just command it to go in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. It's not for you. Mm -hmm. By Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. So I call myself healed. I'm strong. No malfunctions in my body. Everything functioning the way he created it to function. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And it's time to give. <laughs> Amen. So just go to our website. It should be on your screen. NBC Big Ben. Dot com hit that donate button if you're mailing it nbc p.o box 252 marfa texas 79843 and for cash app just go to new beginnings church of the big ben god loves you and we love you and remember can he count on me yes it is yes he can count on me so praise god he's going to use you he wants to mm -hmm. use you amen so praise god amen thank you